What's good, YouTube? Hey. How y'all doing today? That sounded sad. That sounds sad. What's good? <laughs> What's good, you? <laughs> Ooh, you look so angry. <laughs> What are we talking about today? Did you baby? miss? Oh. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I'm gonna put where that came from. I'm gonna put that in the video. Did you miss him? Did you miss Snooky? You miss Snooky. His breath stank. His breath always stank. Okay, right. today let's get to talk. We gonna talk to y'all about. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we gonna talk about? We gonna talk about. We'll be back. We back. Hey, we okay. really back. All right. Today we are going to talk to you about how to be a good girlfriend or a good boyfriend. Yeah, you know, how to get yourself a partner and stop being single. How you is right now? Cause you ain't doing nothing right. Oh. Mad? I think he mad at somebody. But just what we think are good characteristics of a good girlfriend and a good boyfriend. Mm hmm So since my baby know all about that, I'm gonna let her go first. She used to be pimping back in the day. Go ahead, tell him, baby. Um, oh, I seen you shake your head. I ain't stupid. I, was, you I didn't shake my head. Yeah, you, you said, I know I did. She bit her lip. I said, she bit her lip. She said, I didn't shake my head. Mm -hmm. But you also oh, you ain't shake your head, but you bit your lip. Mm. No. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give how to be a good girlfriend and then my point of view on what I think a good boyfriend is. Does that make sense? Okay. So, I believe characteristics of a good girlfriend is somebody who is, you know, first I believe that you should be your boyfriend's number one cheerleader. Nobody, except for their mama, should be able to beat you on how good you cheer on your boyfriend. That's like motivation, um, What's another way? Just just anything. It, it can be stupid, but sometimes you know you have to just let them know that you that you don't mind them shining. You know that's very important. Just to make sure that they know that you support them in everything that they do. That's a very important quality. Mm -hmm. Second, you need to know your worth. You need to know what you will and will not deal with. As far as a guy really respects when you know how to. Help. Why are you looking like that? Tell no, I'm listening uh, to yourself. A guy really respects when you know what your boundaries are. You know, um, when it comes to the point of what you will and what you won't do. Because a guy will only do what you allow them to do. If they if they want to do something that you don't want to do, you know, not just saying like activities wise, because that's another subject, but just on a relationship wise, like moving in together, or getting married and stuff like this that they might not be ready for, but you are. There's plenty of people out there who will. So, you know, put that over to the side. Third, you got to be able to compromise because my boyfriend, he likes anime a lot. Sort of. Me, I'm not the biggest fan of anime, but I'll watch it sometimes, depending on Man, what it is. When was the last time you seen me watch anime? Babe, I'm not saying that you don't I like don't. it, though, but you do like it, don't you? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He he likes it. So, you know, he might have to do a good bit of baby, you know, I watch what you want to watch. So, usually if he say that I I watch what he want to watch, then I watch what he want to watch. Mhm. Mm Cow with a pan. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the fourth one is being faithful. Nowadays, females have issues with being faithful, you know. They've been tossed and turned back and forth to the point where they just don't want to be in a relationship but once they get in a relationship they have issues on letting their holes go you know letting their thought of thoughts go mm. that shouldn't be an issue you know if somebody cares about you and genuinely wants to be with you you should do it and plus karma karma yeah. something serious they so. should let their holes go so why are you looking at me like that oh. <laughs> i have to start something on this camera anyway I believe it's important that um you know you you know the guy's worth also you know if he's willing to put in the work and he understands and you know he's not talking to nobody else you shouldn't be talking to nobody else it's just fair because karma come back and bite you on the butt when you finally decide that you want to be in a relationship and then you faithful and they not and then you wonder what happened my fifth one my last one 
I believe that, you know, this is just my point of view because I understand people that watching this video might not be religious, but I am. And I believe that um, as far as dating a female, even if it's not in the same religion, you should find somebody who shares the same morals and qualities that you are. Because if you don't, that's just not going to work. That's going to collide and magnets are going to frictionize and just it's just not going to go together. So find somebody who has the same morals as you and as a female you know you should be not necessarily looking for that but wanting that quality in a guy and that's all on that oh so it's my turn now yeah you can go ahead and go I'm okay back. You can lean up. <clears throat> uh, how y'all doing today el Chero coming live to you so let me tell you about like being a good girlfriend and being a good boyfriend me. And like I said, you know, this gonna help y'all get y'all man or get y'all woman. Cause y'all out there looking single, looking stupid, going on dang on going on adventures and trips with, with your best friends who got people and you being a third of the, you being a fifth wheel. And while everybody sitting there laughing, you over there like <laughs> eating your food crying by okay, yourself. Okay, let's get to the point, baby. Come on. If she baby. keep acting like that, she gonna be in that group. <laughs> I'm gonna be in that group. No, no, no. I'm gonna be in the group. No, no, you're not, you're not gonna be in that group. Not, state gonna be in that group. No. State gonna be in that group. No, choose your words carefully. I know. Probably y'all gonna get me hurt. But look, let you me tell you. You're gonna get yourself hurt. <laughs> Ain't nobody in let this me room go. with me and you. Well, about state. Oh, well, he asked my tunies in the room. He's single. Anyway, let me tell y'all, okay. So. First off, I'm gonna talk on. I'm she was talking about being a good girlfriend. You know, she can talk about that. You know, first off, because you know she's a female. She know the characteristics and the qualities that a female should have in order to get herself a good man, and so in order to find herself a good man. I'm gonna talk about you know being a male myself. First things first, man. You need to be a gentleman to your lady. Now this one over here, that one right there, big head over there. She know that I do joke on her. You know, sometimes I do get on her bad side. But at the end of the day, man, you got to be scared as hell of your woman. That's the only way you're going to get through it. <laughs> like, I'm dead serious. Like, my woman, look, I, like I tell everybody, when they ask me, do you wear the pants in a relationship? I'll be, I'll be quick to say, i say, yeah. But I'll be quick to say, she put them bad boys on for me. I right, shoot, that, that, that's the truth right there. What she can say, go. Uh, let's say, if y'all want to go to the movie or something. If you want to see this, and she don't want to see that, you might as well say you seen what she seen. Because she going to see what she want to see. Because she going to hit you with that, just like she hit me with a while ago. She going to hit you with that, oh, really now? All right, since I got through the first part, let me get to the thing on set. Did I say that you be a gentleman? Yeah, that was I the said, first one. That was my first part? Oh, yeah, like I was saying, this yeah, one over this. here, no. This one over here, no. She know, even if I get on her nerves or whatnot, even if she mad at me, she know at the end of the night, I'm going to open up her door. I'm going to pull out her seat so she can sit down. I'm probably gonna if I got if I gotta go up on me. Sometimes I'm gonna be strapped for cash. You know these bills be having me looking crazy. Out, yo, yo, so yo, huh? they be having me looking crazy. So you know what I'm saying? If I got the money, you know I'm gonna pay for my baby. Like the other day, we went up in Bojangles. Then a woman asked me, "You gonna pay for her?" I'm like, <laughs> "No, I ain't gonna pay for her." Like I'm quick to yeah, say I that. Yeah, I pay for myself, but we bought on a budget. Both struggling. Mm -hmm. That's why we over here trying to do this YouTube thing. I know. Make we this frugal relationship. Money. I know, we trying to get that quality. All right, then I had to give away $50. You know how hard that was for me? Mm-hmm. I almost stole it. Oh. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, you know, I'm going to do, I do everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, if my, if my woman, and vice versa, she does the same for me. If my woman, if I go up in the store, my woman wants something, I buy it up. If she can't pay on her dang on car payment, I help her pay it. Or either I pay it. You know what I'm saying? These just things that you gotta do as a man, like, and not now. You can't only be, you know what I'm saying? You see this right here? You can't only be a pretty face. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta have calluses on your hands. Look at them hands. Them hands look rough. Baby say she don't like my rough hands, but I tell these working you know, man hands. I don't. It ain't that I don't like them, baby. It's just I was, I didn't like. You had calluses from lifting weights. And stuff. Babe, no, 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 no. I'm talking about that day where I had said I didn't like it because you was rubbing on my face and I just felt. <laughs> No man hands. These these hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I've been I've been working roughly since I was around about like fourteen. Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I you know I, I was you know getting off subject. But anyway, let me get to the second thing. Second thing, 
is you gotta treat your woman with respect. And the reason I say that is because, like, you know, once again, even though I don't go her, you know what I'm saying, I know sometimes I go past the limit. But, you know what I'm saying, you got to know when to stop. And you also, you know what I'm saying, you got to respect everything. You got to respect everything about your woman from her, even if she looking hit, you know what I'm saying. You got something you just got to respect, Joe. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect that hitness. You you got to tell her she beautiful no matter what. I like how he been using this new <laughs> word. I just gave hey, him. Hey, I like hit. that. Hit means hitties, it, it by mean, the way, in mm, case y'all don't know. No, nah, that's her version. My version is you got hit by the ugly stick. Same, you know right? What I'm you look bad. <laughs> this is just, you just look bad. Hit me, you look bad, so... So you just gotta, you know, even even if your woman, even if your woman looking bad, even if it's the next day, even if you already told her that day, you gotta tell your woman constantly, you look beautiful. You gotta come. Who texting your phone? You don't text. Huh? Freaking. Oh, oh. Haircut. Oh, oh. That's YouTube. Oh. But you gotta tell your woman. You gotta tell your woman constantly, she look beautiful. And the thing is, where you guys, or some of you guys, be messing up. I ain't gonna say all guys. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. What y'all do is, you start off, well, we as men, we start off doing the things we did to get our woman at first. But then later on down the road, you know, we start thinking, well, this is our woman. I ain't got to do what I, baby, let, let me tell you, I know you about to try to cut in like y'all That's why do. I ain't say nothing. No, nah, you stop yourself. They going to hear you on there. You say, you say, eh. I didn't say that. I was going to say, lose your consistency. That's all I was about so to say. So you going to cut in, though. It's just cut it in my dance. But uh, I said, love you. Love me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be quiet. Um, I don't wanna disrupt. I'm gonna be quiet. Nah, okay. you, can, you, can put, you can put your input in. Yeah, but that's anyway, what once you know, you, you get your woman for a long time, you know what I'm saying? It's like you start doing what you were doing to get her. And like, you, you can't do that. Because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, like, you know, I know a whole bunch of you probably heard this. What you won't do, another man will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just gotta, you gotta, you know. I know sometimes it's hard to spoil your woman, but you know you get you can find other ways to do it instead of actually spending money. You can be cheap with it. I ain't gonna go into the whole everything that you can do because you look on Google and find this stuff yourself. Shoot, I'm just Doctor Phil for the day. I ain't internet. But anyway, you know <clears throat> you just gotta keep doing what you what you started off doing, and you know that's how you keep your woman happy over the years. You know what I'm saying? Because if a woman is with you for your money or for what you can do for her, then you don't need to be with her. That ain't the one we want. That ain't nothing but a gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold. Hey, but anyway, let me see. First, I say you need to be a gentleman. Second, I say you need respect her. Third is, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, you got to get along with your woman people. Especially if she's crazy. But I digress, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to get along with your woman people because, once again, I always go back to myself. Because when I first started dating this lovely, sexy, you know, give me a kiss, baby. <laughs> when I first started dating her, you know what I'm saying? Her my dudes didn't like me. You know, I, I just, I just came off. I, I came off as the type. You know, I'm a very friendly person, and I guess I wasn't. I wasn't. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't. What, what, what's what's that phrase? I came out guns blazing, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you can't do that. You gotta work your way up. Unless you already, unless you've been knowing, like, you know, your girlfriend, her family for like years on years on years, then you good. But you just can't come out if, if it's a new relationship. You can't just come out to a family like that. You know what I'm saying? And you can't be one of those type of people who always take her from her family to where she'd be like, well, <clears throat> I would go, but. Jerome don't want to go and do this or Richard doesn't want to go and do this or either you know what I'm saying I'm spending time like you can't take you can't hog your woman that's one thing you can't do I mean you, you can take because that, that's your woman but you know when it's family time for her you gotta go spend family family and quality time like you know what I'm saying like I don't want to go in the past because my baby don't like when I go in the past but uh whatchamacallit you, you can't be selfish like you can't be like okay well what we gonna do is we gonna spend you gotta like split it up so like one holiday you spend with her family one holiday you spend with y'all family you know what i'm saying and she gotta be the same way she gotta be like you know maybe rub my back make me feel good <laughs> but um you just gotta be like she said you gotta compromise and if she wanna watch dang on joy which is actually a really good movie it was good i didn't even really was. wanna watch that i ain't wanna watch just... it either but you know 
you got to just uh you just got to compromise. This one over here, she a ride. I said, baby, mm -hmm. I said, I said, baby, if I run up in a bank right now and I go and rob it, what you gonna do? Every time I ask this scenario she, about that, she say, I'm gonna pull it off. Mm -hmm. and you ain't gonna be in my car. Well, like the first thing I said, mm -hmm. people be like they gonna hold a man down. I'm gonna hold you up. So you wanna be down there? You wanna be in jail or some stupid stuff? No, I ain't finna hold. Oh, but you told me. I'm 20. What she I'm told like? me. She told me. She said if I go to jail, she'll wait on me though. Yeah, if it's for the right reason. Vis conjugal visits. No. Oh, so so you weren't gonna visit me in jail? What kind of visit did you just put in front of that? Visitation, visitation rights. No. You know what I'm talking about? No, you said oh. conjugal well? visits. That's a whole other thing. Where's my dog bone? I don't know. It'll be a whole, whole lot of. <laughs> anyway, anyway, no, 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 hold on. I got, I got one more, I got one more. Man, stop being f boys, cause that's something that you don't need to do. It ain't, it ain't worth really getting you a woman that you think you gonna love, but you sitting there still playing around, playing with her heart, playing with her mind. You know what I'm saying? Cause you won't want that same thing done to you. I know if guys are watching, they'll be like, "Man, if that happened to me, man, go play me, man. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back." No, you can be sitting there. If that is a real woman that that you really love, stink. If that really is a woman that you love, you can be sitting there talking some. Man, what I do wrong? I you can be sitting up there crying and everything. Yeah, cause women doing? don't cheat for no reason. I'm going to go get his bone. Nah, get I digress on that one. Some women do cheat for no reason. That's what I. That's why I put it. But majority of women. If they got a good man, a so-called good man, they ain't gonna cheat for no reason. They gonna cheat because he ain't giving us something. Yeah, so you know, and I hope y'all know this. Not once, not once did she, and not once did I talk about, you know, phys physical intimacy. Because even though that is a thing in a relationship, you can build a relationship, uh, you can build a strong relationship at that like as she said like and once again you know i believe as well having strong spirituality because you, your relationship's not gonna last if you don't have well once again let me let me stop that because not everybody believes in god huh what is that baby once again not everybody believes in god but you know me and my girlfriend you know we do Cause if y'all got that bond with whatever God y'all believe in, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna make it. And you know, me and her, we pray all the time, you know what I'm saying? And I ask that he be in the midst of our relationship, if it is his will, you know what I'm saying? And we continue to go strong, you know what I'm saying? A year, two months, and what's the day, baby? The 16th? Mm -hmm. Six, Six days, days strong. Y'all ain't gonna hear me talk no more, cause I, I just rambled on, rambled on, rambled on. Uh -uh. Do that again? Mm -hmm. Anyway, you gotta kiss the lils. But this is the end of the video. This is the end of the video. Hey, children of the, the corn. Video. All right, y'all, you two. So you know what's right here. Yep. You know what's right here. You see it. It's right there. Right, right here. Right there. Right there. Hey, bad moose. Yeah. Cooking up top with the oozy. Dope. You talking about that bird, babe? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I think that's what you was talking about when you, you asked me. It. No, I think that's what you was talking about when you asked me what you was talking about when I was walking downstairs. I think you was talking about that bird that yeah, kept dabbing. That bird that kept dabbing. Y'all should go look that up. It's a, it's, it's a bird that dabs. Just go look it up. Sorry to get off. But just watch. You'll see that, that bad boy. He'll dance like that. He'll say, like, mm, mm. The female come to him. He'll say, like, bah, 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 bah. Anyway. We love you guys. Yo, we, we hope you love us. We like you. <laughs> he likes you guys. Yo. And um, like, comment, Yo. subscribe. Subscribe. We welcome you Share. to the Nira and Tyler family if you're new. Mm -hmm. Also, y'all need to go follow us on. We got a Twitter page as well. I've been meaning to promote that bad boy, but I've been so fixated on YouTube. And you see, baby, I'm doing good. Y'all need to go follow our dang on Twitter. It's Nira and Tyler. It's just Nira and Tyler. Nira and Tyler, too. You're in Tyler 2 on the school. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs>